Hello and welcome to vlog number 85. This week I'm going to talk about medicinal cannabis and how the general public have been subjected to brainwashing on an industrial scale. I've been talking to two people who live nearby to me recently. Both of these people have chronic health conditions which could be helped massively by medicinal cannabis. Both either refuse to consider or are extremely reluctant to try cannabis for their serious health conditions. Their reasons for not considering the use of medicinal cannabis are what have prompted me to make this vlog, because it amounts to the brainwashing of citizens by government on an industrial scale, and it really angers me. It angers me because it is a deliberate policy of misinformation which goes against the evidence of even the government's own commissioned studies. Indeed, Theresa May, currently the UK's Prime Minister, for how much longer we can only speculate, when she was in charge of the Home Office, was caught red-handed trying to delete sentences from a 2014 report commissioned by the government of the day because she didn't like the conclusions, which found no clear link between harsh drug laws and illegal drug use. My neighbour has had severe Crohn's disease for many years and been subjected to a wide variety of pharmaceutical products with varying degrees of success. He is currently undergoing a drug trial that seems to be working for him. But just before he started the trial, I asked him for the umpteenth time why he hadn't tried cannabis when there is so much evidence, albeit anecdotal, that it is strongly beneficial for Crohn's. He replied that he was scared because of the stories that he had heard about cannabis throughout his life, that he would become a psychotic junkie, a helpless addict. Would he try it if his doctor prescribed it to him? Absolutely. A family member of his, who is a doctor, reinforced his beliefs by spouting the government lie that there was no medicinal value, no evidence of therapeutic benefit, and that it could cause mental health problems. I don't blame this doctor for having this opinion. He's been subjected to the same brainwashing as the rest of us, but it is an indication of the size of the mountain that we have to climb, even though the government has now conceded that it does have medicinal value, even though it will now be rescheduled following massive public outcry over some very high profile cases involving young children. I think it will take years until cannabis is widely accepted as medicine. Another neighbour of mine has had bowel cancer for which she has had surgery and chemotherapy. Regardless of the anecdotal evidence that cannabis may help fight tumours of this kind, let alone help the patient tolerate the side effects of the chemotherapy, she has never been advised, either on the record or off it, that cannabis could help her. She now has a number of chronic conditions as a result of her surgery and subsequent treatment, including Crohn's disease, peripheral neuropathy, anxiety, depression, and most recently, shingles. There is anecdotal evidence that all of these conditions could be alleviated by cannabis. Yet when I asked her if she'd considered taking cannabis as a medicine, her response was that she was so worried about the taboo even though she knew of several Crohn's patients who use it. She was worried about going up to the school to collect her young children whilst under the influence, as there's one mum that uses it and gets so slated it's awful. Following a chat, she is becoming receptive to the idea, but I feel desperately sorry for the fact that she has been going through her health battle without having had the opportunity to consider cannabis as an alternative or supplementary treatment which could have helped her considerably. I really feel that those who have demonised cannabis because of their own selfish beliefs, financial interests in pharmaceutical companies, accepted party donations from those industries with the vested interest in maintaining its illegal status, well, they should hang their heads in shame. Cannabis needs to be brought back into the medical mainstream. It was widely used for medicinal purposes prior to its prohibition, and efforts made to erase the stigma wrongly associated with it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.